Hi everyone, I was going to uh, make this video a bit more impressive by getting a haircut but I went into the local barber and they said that I can't get my haircut because I'm female so I've got to go to the hairdresser and spend three times more and so I gave that miss. I'm not spending that much on a haircut but anyway, it got me thinking about men and uh, one guy in particular Hi, my name is Charlotte and I'm transgender Meet Charlotte Clymer, formerly known as Charles Clymer, formerly a male feminist. He was so bad at hiding his opportunism and sexism, even magazines like Salon just had to wash their hands of him. He's now trying to reinvent himself as a trans woman so he can save his tattered career. And of course, everyone's falling for it. And Channel 4 News have even got him on to talk about his plight. Which means that although I was assigned male at birth based on anatomy, I've always felt that, at least on the inside, I'm female. I don't think he would get rejected from the barber that I got rejected from for a haircut. I would love to live in a society that doesn't have the concept of gender. That sounds like heaven. But we don't. We're given a binary. Male or female. The terms male and female refer to reproductive biology explicitly in their definitions. He's saying that he wishes gender didn't exist, yet he's not talking about sex roles. He's talking about sex boy or girl man or woman it's a system and chosen for you who chose the system that decided whether a baby was male or female god do you believe in god are we expected to believe in god i don't believe in god why should i be forced to believe in god there's no evidence for it society mocks people who fall a little outside that binary intersex people now what i see happening to intersex people is surgeons deciding that they're better off as one sex or the other according to what their genitals look like when they're born and then mutilating them which is absolutely disgusting and needs to be stopped immediately because it's child abuse but that's got nothing to do with transgender identity stop appropriating the cause of intersex people because it's quite antithetical to yours same as those who fall a lot outside of it so at this point he goes on and on just using his conflation between sex and gender which gender essentially just means sex roles so it has something to do with biology but not in the way that he's using it I, i'm just gonna fast forward this bit and isolates those who fall entirely outside of it and all who color outside the lines regardless of their distance are vulnerable to discrimination and bodily harm wait wait what did he just say and bodily harm bodily harm you're a fine one to talk about that love to hear him elaborate your sex is your assigned designation at birth based on some biological factors factors like if you have sex with a woman, you are likely to get that woman pregnant. Those sorts of factors. Fact factors. Gender is how you express your identity. Correct me if I'm wrong, but earlier on in this video, didn't he just say that he wishes gender didn't exist? I would love to live in a society that doesn't have the concept of gender. And now he's describing gender as the way you express your identity. Well, uh, what's wrong with people expressing their identity? Why do you wish that didn't exist? I want that system to change. These people have no coherent definition of gender. In the meantime, for the purposes of navigating it with a sound heart and mind, I've arrived at a place where I can no longer attempt to bend myself into a prefabricated shape that looks nothing like who I really am. Mate, you've bended yourself with that purple lipstick and that puffer jacket but you still look like Richard Spencer in lipstick. No amount of effort is going to change that. I've always known by a mile on which side of that binary I am most comfortable. I've known this about myself in some form from an early age. Maybe I didn't know the right words, maybe I couldn't quite articulate the feeling, but I knew it deep in my bones. Really, because when you die, if they decided to dig up your bones, they would definitely see male bones. They wouldn't see female bones. 20 years from the time I was first acutely conscious of it, I simply denied it. Actual women didn't know it deep in their bones. They knew it because everybody treated them like women so therefore they recognized they were women that's what actual women experience even as a young male child i deny it deny what your preference for wearing makeup that doesn't make you female I went through all the appropriate masculine rites of passage I tried to be traditionally male, and in many ways, I succeeded. In all ways, you've succeeded. The only difference between you and more masculine males is that you're part of a group of people that are bottom feeders of masculinity, that pick on women because men wouldn't take your shit. I decided when I was a kid 
that I didn't feel like a boy or man because I hadn't suffered enough to earn it. Because men suffer so much. The natural solution was more suffering, taking pain. Just ask any nurse who's better at handling pain, men or women. The answer you will get is women. <laughs> Just the idea that the the part of masculinity is taking pain it is so ludicrous it's unbelievable staying quiet staying quiet that, that we only ever hear from men for thousands of years all we've ever heard from is men this is not also not something men are expected to do don't cry i'll give him that because there's a lot of release in crying it's usually a thing that men aren't aren't really told to do or boys aren't told to do but it's not something women girls are particularly told to do i mean we're told off for it as well but we're just told we're not told boys don't cry we're just told to stop whinging sort of thing we are mocked for crying though in your stripes that's the code and i needed to stick by it surely that's american masculinity <laughs> I tried to embrace all the cultural cues inherent in maleness, particularly as a kid. Some of them I genuinely liked, some not so much, and some I hated and refused to do. Yeah, it's called having a personality. We all have different personalities. Our personality isn't tied to our sex. But I gave most of them a go playing male sports in high school, serving in the military. But again, in the US, male sports are different. You call soccer a female sport. In the UK, it's the biggest sport among males. This is, this is a construct, it's a social construct, what you decide a male and female sport. Protecting others, having romantic partners, being an adult who does adult things. Are these masculine traits to your mind? Because I hate to break it to you, but this stuff is expected of females too. Praying the switch will flip and my brain will write itself. Signposts blowing past me age 10, 15, 20, 25. It has to come. It will. Pull yourself together, man. Maybe doing one more male thing, I thought, or getting through one more year of being in this body with this presentation will erase the deep gnawing pain in the pit of my stomach that says I'm actually a woman. But at 28, the heavy truth just collapsed on me. Your personality doesn't make you female. I can no longer hold up that weight and pretend that I simply hadn't suffered enough. Something had to give. And I hated the thought of living a full life trying to be someone I'm not. But I was still scared. It's a hell of a mountain to climb. It's okay to be uncomfortable with masculinity. Do you think that I'm comfortable with femininity? There's so many barriers that stand in your way when that fog lifts and always on the terms of others. None of those things make you female. How would my partner still love me? How would anyone else ever date me? Just to make this clear, no lesbian is gonna date you. How could I pass as a woman? How can I afford a transition? How will I ever get a job? How will I feed myself? You managed to get a place on Channel 4 News to talk this shite, so I think you'll be all right. How will my friends react? How much am I risking my personal safety? How, 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 how? Then the election happened. I'm just gonna have to fast forward this bit again because it's just so boring. And my partner and I broke up and went our separate ways in the same week. A lot of instability for anyone. That was not the time I thought to venture into the great unknown. But this past summer I asked myself what a good time would be. When Trump was out of office, will I have enough money to transition? I've often thought of what eight-year-old trans kids in Central Texas are thinking when they walk on the same ground I did when I was eight. I want to be visible to them. How do you do, fellow kids? What? I want them to see me live out our truth. So what's next? I don't know. This won't happen overnight. It'll take time and patience. But I am starting the process of transitioning. I am going to live my life in time as a woman. I'll still be an imperfect human being but I'll be imperfectly mean.